Hi Steve, this is your first time out with the car, is that correct? That's correct, it's my first day out on track with it. And you purchased it in November, is that correct? That's correct, I've had it about six months. So um, can you tell me a brief history about it? Sure, it was built in 1954 and sold to a man named Alvar Stromberg in Sweden. And it raced for many years in Sweden and became fairly famous there. And then it was sold to a man in Norway as scrap parts to, to get across the border. Um, but while there, it did a lot of dirt track racing, if you can believe that. And then uh, later it moved on to another gentleman who did some ice racing in this car, Amazing. eventually finding its way back to the UK um, with a fellow named Neil Hodges, who raced it for 14 years. So he actually owned the car longer than anybody else. Um, but he brought it back to its current uh, color scheme, which is the original color scheme and the original racing number of 92. Um, so the, the car is fully documented from day one with race results and pictures on track. And it actually even has, this is pretty cool, on the uh, fuel tank, there's some damage. And that's from where the car famously rolled at the Roskilde ring in the middle of a race. So it made, even in the 1956 issue of Sports Car Illustrated, which is an American magazine, became Road and Track uh, later, there's actually a picture of this car upside down <laughs> rolling down the uh the rolling down the track so so what do you intend to do with it sprint it or hill climb it or circuit race it so my intention right now is circuit racing i i don't have a lot of familiarity with hill climbs or sprints um so i thought uh since i'm just getting used to it i'd start with what i know and do some circuit racing but i'm certainly open to to trying other things so how did the run go today so far, it's great. It's, uh, we're having a little bit of an oil problem because it's blowing oil everywhere, but that's pretty normal for these types of engines as they're a complete loss oil system. It just goes in the top and runs out the bottom. So usually you have a place that catches it, and my catching mechanism isn't working so good today. But luckily, it's all staying inside the car. Um, well, it's looking very nice, Steve, and thank you very much for the interview. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you.